FNAF merch is a really diverse topic. Some pieces are nothing short of incredible, whilst others are totally horrendous. So in today's video, I'm going to be counting down my list of the top 10 most accurate pieces of FNAF merch. Before I begin, note that the items on this list aren't necessarily in any type of order, and also note I did have difficulty constructing this list, you know, picking the 10 most accurate pieces, so this is definitely in no way spot on, but the 10 items are definitely very accurate. Now without further ado, let's get started. Kicking off this list at number 10 is the Little Joe Mystery Mini. I bet a lot of you didn't even know this guy had an official name. This guy just vibes in Circus Gallery throughout the course of Sister Location. He doesn't move, he doesn't talk, nor does he add any value to the game whatsoever. However, Funko's Little Joe Mystery Mini looks really, really accurate indeed. I really wonder why they decided to go all out with such an obscure character, yet whenever they're given such a significant character such as Springtrap for example, they find some sort of way to fuck it up. This guy is a 1 in 24 mini who is released as part of the Sister Location slash Twisted Ones wave. And as previously stated, this guy is really really accurate. He's even mimicking the exact same pose as one of the official renders for Little Joe. Every detail is there, including the stripes on the shirt, the button, the bow tie, the exact amount of teeth, and the hat and everything. Now, of course, you've got some slight color differences between the Mystery Mini and the in-game character, but other than that, it's literally spot on. Sporting the number 9 spot is another Mystery Mini, and that is the 8-Bit Baby Mystery Mini. This item is the newest item on the list, having had only released last month. She's a 1 in 12 mini who released as part of the new FNAF AR mystery mini wave. This mystery mini is practically flawless. The only issue really is the fact that it's a little bit too dummy thick, but the bigger the better, huh? Yeah, she is an epic character meaning that it should be easier to perfect it, but you still gotta be really impressed with how damn good this looks. It's also a mystery mini, meaning of course that it's very, very small. So the fact that they were able to perfect these details in such a small figurine is really, really impressive. And the paint job as well is nothing short of amazing. Taking the number 8 spot, it's not a mystery mini this time, but rather a plush. That being the Toy Cupcake plushie. This is a very old plushie, having had released in late 2016 as part of Wave 2. Do keep in mind that this plushie is based off of the toy cupcake, aka the cupcake that Toy Chica holds, and not the cupcake that Chica holds, because if you compare it to the FNAF 1 cupcake, then it's very inaccurate, because it's simply not based off that cupcake design. When comparing this plush to the cupcake from FNAF 2, you can see just how, you know, accurate this is, again, practically being flawless. Yes, I know that the cupcake is a very simplistic character, it's literally just a cupcake of ice plotted on there, but that doesn't change the fact that this is still a very, very accurate plushie. Really, the only flaw with this plushie is practically what most pieces of merch will have, it's just the slight color differences, and I, you know, that totally makes sense, because, oh god, there's so many different shades for each color, so it's very hard to find the exact one that, you know, is used for the in-game model. All around though, it's a very beautiful plush, you've got all the details on there, you've got the blue stripes in the candle there as well, you've got the yellow flame, etc. They even included the different colours for the wrapper as well, which is a very nice detail to go on there as well, so for sure this plushie definitely still does hold up today, for sure. For number 7, we move on to another category of merch, that being the action figures, most specifically, the Rockstar Freddy action figure. This fine shop was released in 2018 as part of the Funko Pizzeria Simulator action figure wave. Again, we've got another case of a flawless piece of merchandise, minus of course the slight color inaccuracies, but you know, I'm gonna stop saying that. When comparing this action figure to Rockstar Freddy in-game, it's practically perfection, there's nothing else you can really ask for. The details are all there and the articulation is solid. It's made even better by the fact that this is an action figure, meaning it's based off the actual, you know, in-game models, unlike the plushies, which are meant to be simplified versions of the characters, and mystery minis, which are stylized versions of the characters. For number 6, we move back into the mystery mini category with the Candy Cadet mystery mini. This is a very difficult item to get your hands on today. He was released in 2019 as part of the Peter Race Simulator mystery mini wave, and it was a 1 in 36 Hot Topic exclusive. So if you want this minifigure for your very own today, chances are you're gonna have to throw at least $100 into it. When comparing this mystery mini to the in-game model for Candy Cadet, you can see just how damn good this mystery mini is. 
Now, I know I just said I wasn't going to bring it up anymore, but I would like to draw attention to the colors for this time around, because as you can see, the colors on the Mystery Mate does strive away a good bit from the actual in-game model. You can see, for example, like the base color on the Mini is straight silver, while for actual Candy Cadet, it's more towards, you know, kind of silver, gray, bluish. It's kind of a mix of all that. However, other than that, it is practically a flawless item, and I'm so impressed with this because of the fact, you know, Candy Cadet is such a complex design, and also the fact that this is a mystery mini, so plotting all, all these tiny details is going to be quite difficult. Like, they really didn't miss out a single thing. You've even got the coin slots on there, the 25 cents, you've got, like, the screws on there as well. They really, you know, they really went hard with this mini. Number five is one hell of a gem and would be something that'll be incredible for me to own. This is the 48 inch NECA Freddy Fazbear statue. This dapper lad stands at a whopping four foot and is made of a really cool, you know, rubber foamy material, which would be very nice to touch. And trust me, I'll be all down to touch Freddy Fazbear. It's a real shame that this statue is so damn rare nowadays though, and when it did release, it did have a very high retail price anyways. It's about, I think it was around three, four hundred dollars, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is one wonder of a gem. It looks exactly like Freddy Fazbear. Well, not exactly, but it looks very close. And this is one of the closest you'll ever get to having a real-life, life-sized Freddy Fazbear in your room. This is just one of those pieces of FNAF merch that I would love to have. It's one of, like, the top of my list for a FNAF, a piece of FNAF merch I'd love to have. But judging by how hard it is to find, I'm not sure if it'll ever happen. But if it ever does, then good for me. Up at number four, we're moving back to the plushies with the Sanchi Gen 1 Freddy plushie. More specifically, that Fat Mojo one, because I think this one's better. This plushie is really incredible and definitely blows out the 2021 Gen 2 restock out of the water. This original Sanchi Freddy slash Fat Mojo Freddy plush practically looks like it was just ripped straight from the game and then into real life. And who wouldn't want a marketable Freddy Fazbear plush toy in their lives? Up at number 3, we move back into the action figure category with the Funtime Freddy action figure. This is quite possibly the best Funko FNAF action figure, and it's made even more impressive by the fact that Funtime Freddy is definitely one of the more complex Freddy designs with all the faceplates and all. Actually, I lied. There's way too many complex Freddy designs, but it's definitely still a fairly complex Freddy design. However, Funko did what they need to do, and they made an excellent action figure. It looks literally spot on. Of course, I, I know I said I was never going to bring it up again, but the colors are a good bit more apparent in this one. For example, they used, you know, very different types of, like, purple and pink. That doesn't look quite as nice as the in-game one, but still a very good attempt. I especially like the mold as well. It's very well done. Like, for example, that face practically just distinctly screams Funtime Freddy. Up at number two is something I'm sure you all knew was going to show up on this list, and this is the fan favorite Sanchi Chica plushie. Whether you have the original or restock Sanchi Chica plush doesn't matter because of the all the restock Sanchi plushies, Chica looks most faithful to the original. And this plushie looks really faithful to the in-game plushie. Basically, if you just take the bib, you remove the blue from the Sanchi plushie's bib, you've practically got what the game has. And taking the number one spot are the Funko Security Breach statues. These are without doubt some of the coolest pieces of FNAF merch out there, and leaks have also shown that Funko will be making more FNAF statues, hopefully, I think, in fall of this year, which is incredibly exciting. Both the Freddy and Gregory and the Vanny and Vanessa statues are simply immaculate, and they look really, really good with great attention to detail and amazing poses slash sculptures. I gotta say that I do prefer the Vanny and Vanessa statue, though, as on the Freddy and Gregory one. I do think Gladmark Freddy does look a little bit wonky, and also I think the prop is better on the Vanny and Vanessa one. I think the plant pot is cooler than just the wall. Yeah, but overall, these statues are incredibly impressive, and I'm all here for more. So that's a wrap for the top 10 most accurate pieces of FNAF merch. I really enjoy making these top 10 list videos, so if you have any more ideas for, you know, top 10 FNAF merch videos, or just FNAF in general, let me know, and I will definitely consider. So that's everyone, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.